There are a lot of people at Boost at this convention right now who are competing to get attention. It's a fun kind of way to get into Subway and sort of look at Subway in a new way. Is it still indie? Maybe not. South by Southwest is the legendary music, film, and interactive conference held annually in Austin, Texas since 1987. Reason TV went to the Interactive Festival this year, which has a rich history of popularizing hip and game-changing technology like Twitter, Foursquare, and food spotting. But as South by Southwest came to a close in 2014, there wasn't a singular app or website that was taking the digital world by storm. Now this could mean we've all been oversaturated with tech lately, or perhaps South by Southwest has lost a little of its indie street cred. Major brands are able to come into South by Southwest with you know, serious funding, right? And that funding empowers them to do things that get people's attention. Joshua Jake Vaughn is the Austin-based founder and CEO of connect to good a startup website that helps connect people who have items to donate with charitable organizations that are looking for goods. But doing so can be extremely difficult for a small bootstrap startup a web app like Connect to Good, you know, especially when we're competing against the likes of these major apps like Uber coming to town. And it's not just major apps like Uber that Vaughn has to compete with for attention. It's also corporate sponsors like AT&T, Chevy, Insurance, and Deloitte. And it doesn't stop there. Small startups also have the New York Times to contend with, and half human, half robots, and Canadian software companies, and Argentinian tech companies. In fact, South by Southwest Interactive is so popular now, practically everyone wants to push their new hip tech product here. The Platiza is a, a new product from Subway that uh, they uses their existing materials like flatbread, uh, you know, their breads, to create this awesome new pizza. And uh, it's really, really good. It's really tasty. Lane Harris is a senior technical director at 360i, the advertising firm that came up with the brainwave-controlled video game and display for Subway. We really felt like because this is an innovation for Subway, this is this is taking you know a new step for Subway. And since South by is a spirit of innovation, it seemed like a really nice match. Uh, the, the target's perfect. You know, these these are the folks that really enjoy Subway products. You know, we know our consumers, and it, you know, it's it's a it's a fun kind of way to get into Subway and sort of look at Subway in a new way. Now, it's not as if the bootstrap startups are placed right next to the dynamic and engaging subway display, but this kind of setup shows how far South by Southwest has come since Twitter blew up in 2007. What we've seen with the evolution of, the, of this convention over the years is just, we've gained so much notoriety, so much attention, and with that comes uh, a competitiveness to kind of cut through the noise. So where are the startup companies now? You'll find them in the startup corner. So the idea is that if you're a scrappy startup and you come to the startup corner over here, you're going to have somebody come by your booth who may never ever have come by your booth or been interested in your company, I should say, unless you were here at South by Southwest. That's Andrew Vandenhouten, the founder and CEO of the startup TentSquare.com, a crowdsourced production studio that has found a little bit of funding already and is exhibiting on the Austin Convention Center floor. We're separating ourselves because instead of trying to take, we're giving back. And I really feel a lot of companies out here are saying, hey, we built this widget, pay us money for this widget, it's really cool. And a lot of it is innovative and super cool, but there's a lot of stuff that isn't innovative and new and fresh. But not every startup gets a booth in Startup Corner. Remember Vaughn with connectagood.com? We found him hustling outside the press room a few floors up. A lot of times we find that you know you have to be you know, VC backed or have serious funding to get a booth or get a table to get in front of press. And so I have to, like always, think creatively about you know, how do we address these problems? My problem today being how do I you know, spread word about Connect to Good? And you know, the, immediately what I think of, well, let's just go hang out in front of the press room. Let's see who we can talk to because I believe in the idea. I believe in what Connect to Good is doing. We've done amazing work so far in the community and we need to further that work. But the only way we can do it, the only way we can do it is if we capture the attention of the greater population. And that's why we need the press and marketing to help us. See, what Vaughn is doing is turning the new South by Southwest structure on its head by going straight to the people who will give him attention. He's cutting through the noise, which may be the most innovative way to approach the next South by Southwest in 2015. For Reason TV, I'm Paul Dietrich.